Hey guys, you are Smelly Point. Uh, today's topic is uh, esophagitis. Uh, it's very short, very brief, but very important for USMLE examination. How they will ask you the question that is very important. That's what I'm going to tell you shortly. So remember, I'm going to tell you the important topics about USMLE CK and USMLE Step 3. I'm not discussing about the Step 1. Remember, okay? Let me start. Okay. Sometimes in USMLE, they give uh, a patient, a young patient, HIV positive, presents with a dysphagia, blah, 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 blah. Okay. So how, what is the next best step? So what do you do? If they give the history of a patient, history of positive HIV test and dysphagia, remember, first step is not the diagnosis, not the investigation, not, nor any test. What you need to do is just go ahead with the treatment. Treatment is with a fluconazole, okay? If fluconazole doesn't work, if uh, after giving fluconazole the symptoms are not resolving, then you should do endoscopy, right? So what is the first step? They give the history of HIV positive and uh, the flu and the best next step is with the dysphagia. The best next step is treatment rather than the investigation. Fluconazole, give it. That's very common. So um if the symptoms uh, resolve good if not go ahead with the endoscopy okay look in general i would like to tell you that if there is a patient history of uh, any uh, esophagitis so try to ask for the medication history especially remember about this uh, drugs alendronate NSAIDs, doxycycline and uh, some other drugs like uh, um, vitamin c then uh, residronate then quinines you need to remember okay then iron drugs sulfur drugs there are many drugs but remember about these drugs this is very important if the patient is taking sometimes in your family how they ask you is they give the history and the patient is taking a vitamin c tablets or alendronate tablet and he's doing well but now he has developed a pain in a swallowing uh, what is the most likely cause for his symptom right so you need to remember Say alandronate sometimes medication are the most common okay how do you treat it tell me how do you treat it okay in HIV I discuss you how do you treat it in HIV uh, you need to give fluconazole if the is not responding go ahead with the endoscopy right in a other thing you need to ask the history for like a medication history very important medication ask for medication medication history if it's that is precipitating then uh, if it's possible Wean off or take it off uh, the drug. If not, then you can use alternate drug. Or if not, you can tell the patient to take a lot of plenty of fluids so that it can be flushed to the stomach. Right? It should not stay in the esophagus and cause esophagitis. And try to tell him to not to lie down soon after taking the drug. He needs to sit up, drink a lot of fluids. Okay. So this is how you need to treat. Okay, thank you so much for watching my video. And please do subscribe, comment, and rate. Okay, thank you, thank you so much.